and welcome to the fourth episode of this game. Students in pristine uniforms travel to and fro, skipping food from the extensive buffet counters around the primary of the cafeteria and returning to their friends. As white Rui in the back corner of the cafeteria staring up at the the skylights with the thumbful tilt to her head. Actually, this would be a perfect time to tell her about Misaki. Ryu would be thrilled to see her again. Hey, Ryu. She jumps slightly out of the sun sun only, and only then do I remember that I'm supposed to be apologizing for being dramatic yesterday. Since I've never been great at apologizing, or even good, actually, or actually even mildly passable. Say, um, how are you? I'm doing okay. How was this? It was... okay, I guess. Oh, okay. We shuffle for a moment, and I finally cleared my throat. Um, about yesterday. It's okay, Emma. I know that seeing that bus must have brought up some memories. You were just flashing out. But I shouldn't have. Oh, I guess not. The next time something like that happens, I can set the right to slap you silly. And just like that, everything is right between us. Have I done to, to deserve a friend like this? Er, thanks. But when are you lunch? What? Aw, oh, come on, it's only fair. If I go into dip, I blame you for constantly mooching off of me. Are you ever going to pay for your own food? Probably, probably not. But you can't count this grocery trips because I end up picking everything for you. And yourself. Labor, labor Texas. Let's go already, I'm hungry. But, but just as she reaches forward and pulls my arm to her side, we hear a very familiar voice from behind us. Well, 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 what, what have we here? We check around and synchronize and probably come face to face with Mr. Ryota. Ryota quickly squeaks and jumps away, suddenly bashful. Uh, hi, Mr. Ryota. Look at you two. The adorable childhood friends finally came together after years of an unneeded drama. But I feel sick. What is this? Some crappy anime? Well, what? We're not, not together. Like, I want to go out with Yama in a million years. They're actually really adorable. I struggle to maintain a straight face. I know, I'm just too good for you. She snaps back to the rear that the rest of the academy knows as her woody confident and our church malicious. She opens her mouth and knows it's my boots and come back or another. But Mr. Reuter picks this up. Well, if I don't end up barfing my guts at you, you guys will have the most adorable wedding in all of history. And there goes Ryui. Oh, can you see, see something a little like that, Mr. Ryuta? You're a teacher, you should know better. Oh, come on, you two will look back on this day. Mark my words. The cheerful wave, he splits to fertility express line. Those words sounded fairly ominous. I can already imagine all the embarrassing stories he'll liberally share with the other wedding guests. Or will they have so many people rolling in the eyes from that truth that Rui wouldn't be able to walk properly? What the heck am I even thinking about? Wedding Ryu? Uh, Mr. Ryu, Mr. Ryu to is being his usual self, you see? Yep. Now he's got me thinking about. Nope, not going there. Maybe now would be a good time to switch topics. Alright, I, I even have the perfect material. Hey Rui, you're not going to believe this, but I saw Miki today. Rui, Rui's face cuts to complete blankness in the space of a millisecond. It, it, is, it is really shocking news. Maybe I should have eased it a bit. She ended up transferring to the school and we coincidentally wound up in the same class. Dead silence. I finally started to feel a prickle of apprehension. 
we can hang out together again. We can take you south to her. But, of course, it's Mickey. For you, what's wrong? Aren't you happy? Well, no, I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, she has nothing to do with either of us anymore. Don't you remember? We were kids who had a stupid grudge for something beyond our control. Come on, we're older than that now. Oh, are we? She didn't really apologize, did she? Well, I passed for my reuse expression immediately targeted. I see that she didn't, and I know why. Because she wasn't there to see you fall apart. I don't think you remember me, Emma, but you were in a really bad place after she left. It was the point where, I mean, you know. But that wasn't because of Masaki. I mean, yeah, but she triggered the whole thing. It's just, when I think about it, I get mad at her. Really mad. It's probably best for both her and me if she stays away. So, you're not gonna be friends again? I thought it's so bad thing I can't help but stutter. In my mind, we've always been a package deal. Me, Ryui, Misaki was either all or nothing. I mean, you're your own person, so you should probably hang out with whoever you want. But I can't be pretty buddy with Misaki until she realizes what she's done. Never thought of Ryui, out of all people, to be irrational. Uh, but had I been in exact thing? I never seen Ryu so upset at least not in a l really long time. Sorry to be a donor. Why don't we just grab some lunch? Um how about you go on ahead? I need to talk to Mr. Royota. Okay. Surprisingly she doesn't ask me any more questions. She heads to the lunch line without a word. Maybe she also feels right an insight. Like something has been less forever. I shake these feelings, thoughts, and immediately locate Mr. Ryota, who's just popped in a fertility line, and conveniently enough, is heading in my direction. He watches his separation with an eye and race to his hairline. Oh, are the newly, newlyweds already running into trouble? I can wear this. Good timing, Mr. Ryota. I want to ask you something. The question is, whenever to officially ask for your ass, the answer is yes. What? No, no, that's not the question. Ah, uh, really? That's a bit boring. Ray and I aren't. You know what? Never mind. I was wondering what it means when you see someone you haven't seen along in forever who you thought disappeared off the planet. It means exactly what you just said. Your life is actually your life actually is a copy anime. I never said. That. Oh, you didn't, Mr. Ryota. Sorry, so I can't help it. Yeah, who's this person you haven't seen in forever? She just transferred into my class this morning. Ryu, me, her, me. We were really close when we were a little back in our hometown, Santo. Just for student travel friend. Don't even think about it. Too late. My life is not a crappy anime, it's not. You're right. It's a really crappy anime. So what's the problem? Well I took to with her, and I think what we've been doing, but Ryui is jealous? What? No. What is this, junior high? Sorry, I'll shut up. See, when Misaki or the, the Trinity student left, she actually drew a giant depressed state which left me in the dumps for a year. I don't remember much about it, but to be honest, when you it was bad. Yama, when can you come to my office today? Not to listen properly to you in the cafeteria is not exactly an ideal environment. Well, I guess Mr. Ryu to get hired into his job for an extra reason. Uh, okay. I guess I'll drop by after school? Or during, really. Either way works. Now, off to lunch, you. That's who eats before the bell rings. Young, growing boys get all the nutrition they can get. I can't sound like the wise all-knowing teacher when he just implied it was fine for him to do school. See you around, Mr. Ryota. The only reason is in the casual way before this, he signed his over to the nearest table chatting easily with a group of students. It's like a plate of food and would search for you, but she's nowhere in sight. I guess that conversation took a little longer than I originally intended. I quickly scarfed down my food and returned to the classroom. 
Alright class, let's take a secondary roll before we hit the courtyard. What? We have more HP? We should just have with the roll rolling your eyes before she catches herself. I guess it's not a good example to roll your eyes in front of your siblings. No, yuck, yuck. Today's career days, as it has been announced over the PA for the past three days. After new classes are canceled, so that third year is being explored with possible future occupations with specialists. Oh, right. Questions of the future? Well, like writing prompts about our dream job. Now, nah, career day. I think I'm sensing a pattern here. We're already running a bit, a little late, so let's make this quick. Anyone missing? Nope. They're from the sick I think it's your. Right, ma'am, everyone's here. Everyone, except Misaki, who's apparently. Is that her job? To introduce a not so cut, not so set of recon. Um, teacher, where's that girl? girl the one sitting by the window. Teacher waves her hand to Miss Lee. Push her circuit to this. Anyone else? Despite myself, I feel a current of curiosity. Despite so circumstances? What kind of circumstances were warned such an offhand dismissal from the teacher? I thought most teachers thought being an exception for mandatory events. What can Miss Saki's job be? As the teacher continues to survey the classroom, I feel a nudge against my arm. I'm surprised you brought it up. What? Usually you wouldn't say anything even if you noticed. What if you thought it had too much trouble? Or what's your arm? You might be neutral. It's awkward. It feels like a trap. I think you should stop pretending you actually know me or that it, you have a brain. You're insufferable. She jumps off to the I get that room in a half. I'm in several places. She has done far, far worse, and she's still judging me. What a hypocrite! All right, looks like everyone else is here. So the courtyard destiny awaits. There are more than a few rolled eyes, but everyone immediately flies out of the classroom. Our right, class pours into the courtyard, which currently resembles a crowded street market. Pumps and boots are sitting on high lines, constructing new jobs from the others with progressing more outrageous signage and progressively louder music. I'm wondering if they get a booth for my future job? Kind of thing, but in all the 203 times he talked about his own dream, he never once mentioned future job. Just all the things he does. Um, what might that be? It's not obvious from the thing it looks and all. So, a trash can? Is that even a job? First is a job. Oh, well no, I want to be a model. That's pretty wait, it's not as silly as it seems. And seeing how he just believed that being just here was a he can't have a job that requires him to think. Because he can't have a job that requires a certain interaction, he'll just rip off he wants to attract him. Those are significant flaws and modeling doesn't need either. As for looks, well I hate to admit it, but he's not so bad looking. He'll probably be able to land himself a girlfriend if he could just keep quiet. It almost sounds like a serious plan. Hey, you, my friend, I'm glad you finally realized the pro truth. Eh, what are you talking about? I'm just saying that it's a good idea, especially coming from you. Isn't it? Once I become famous, the entire world will be able to witness my magnificence. I'll be on TV, the internet, advertising blends, basically everywhere. I'm saying that maybe it's a terrible idea. Well, if you want to mind me, I'm off to meet my destiny. And with that, he skips it. Off into the crowd, leaving me awkwardly leaning against the wall like some kind of blink. I'm not really sure what I'm to do. I'll be wasting my time if I look around, but I'll be wasting my time if I stay here. What a conundrum. You were there. A gentleman the voice a man in a medical coat standing in front of a booth producing the hologram and said, Wait for paramedical hospital division. Hunch, I'm guessing he's a doctor. Are you interested in becoming a doctor? Bodies, other wounds? Yeah, no. Sorry, I don't think you deal with the pressure of being a doctor. If that's what you're worried about, then don't worry, I'm a heart surgeon and I get a turn team and people helping me during the operations. Well, if I have people helping me. Scabble, please. Nah. What do you mean, nah? I thought I was supposed to be doing all the kind of this stuff. What does it matter? It sure does. What's going on here? Maybe you want to take all the credit. Well, guess what? That ain't happening. What are you talking about? I'm the doctor here. Make sure the patient is in critical condition and be if you don't ask fast, he's going to die. The patient is dying. Can you give me the scalpel? Well, there, don't begin 
the scraps in the bunch. The chip of fish in this See, look at him what you do. Look at what I... Yeah, I don't think King Adventures are great. Are you sure we got a great internship program? I'm good, thanks though. The other new buying booth catches my attention. A multi-color kind that came from a national education institute. We end up with a tall woman in glasses is speaking and it may lead to a small group of students. Don't you feel like, like we have the duty to equip ourselves and put the next generation in this society to latch its power? We need to ensure that our citizens have the power to move forward. My job is the best and there must be no pressure in there. No downsides whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Heard that. Don't pretend to know you or tell you at Well, I've had some up and in my career, of course. The more our difficult students may keep be for boxing you first, but when you preserve, you always know you can use back on the right path. Is that so? Uh, teach what type of student. This is high school, Mr. Curry, not middle school. You yeah, shouldn't have missed a dish. But teach, excuse me, Mr. Curry, can you smoke his knife from a minute on campus? Hand this over now. You can play boss on me, kid. Kid, kid, I'm your teacher. You're sure they me. Kid, and that's what makes you a kid. kid. Alright, that's interesting. If because you have a chance to serve, so you, so you can't even take any disease to with one foot to do it too. That's why you can't be other kind of animal. So, teacher, what's wrong with me? Again, and what's for? Oh, you're angry. I'm sorry, that's true, but I can't do anything for you. Yeah, I don't think I have enough patience to do with students. Mentor down the row of booth, empathetic green, and any of this humanity entertained. One man with a remarkably pushing mustache raising his fist in the air, yelling at the top of his lungs. Do you look to hear and join the Japanese self defense force today? Come on, I thought those kinds of die hard pictures only existed in, on CP. Any man who said he would fall out of can be seen as a hero of Japan. You're still alive. Grenade covered soldier, what but we could just run away. Jump on the grenade or have a current measure for it in civil coordination. Oh, I don't die. All the better. Hop on it. Yeah, I'm not happening. Turn away from the booth. Everything you see is equally impossible. Do you have a neck for cooking? Why not play in the land culinary school? Gather around engineers, mathematicians, fellow countrymen, the biggest digital cooperation in the world. I'm gonna say, has open positions open for you? You've always wanted to help the hurting journeys of the Kukumilas Therapy Center and transfer the world one life at a time. Quick glance in the other direction up here reveals that I seem to be the only one having trouble. I find Elizabeth even in conversation with a police officer just a few feet away. Wouldn't have thought her to be that type, maybe she's sucking up to them so they can let her up for a with the fraud. Man, I can't really judge her, at least she found something that she seen that she's interested in. Me, the other hand, well, I have nothing. What's up, can't find your life's calling? What? I turned to the sister by the scary man who seemed to be directly pointing here, a worn beanie on his head, and a third red French coat thrown off his shoulder. The chance I was with is how a legitimate group. Hi, he answered, he said. You hold your future in your own hands and you don't even know what to do about it. You're lucky, you know, that there was time when people didn't have the luxury of choosing their career. My second glance, I noticed there are several rolling marks of books set in the back of the booth. There just needs to be any rhyme or reason to the general situation mystery you can see young adult. They're all on the same name. Are you a writer? He smiles with an ace yes. Yeah, what, surprise? Who do you think it was? The adventurer, Globetrotter? A homeless guy, actually. He had those buckets hit and laughs. Get life. I can't wait to read your story. Somehow, I don't think being a writer would fit. Oh, somebody help me. Whatever shall I do? If you're not generic gems on the streets, I'm the hero. I lost the previous post, and this is the heroic rematch, and I'm going to, to win. Oh, how, how fortunate after you win this final battle. I shall be with Lord. I will sell you with the Blade Ari Smith of Victory. Hey, you can't just see me the villain. I can choose your girl, Yama. I'll surprise with you. Bloody it only leads to your own fault, but, but I gotta give a um, Motive friend, so that we might understand you. I've seen your agenda is a choice of feeling now, I just put that as a book. Okay, I tried this neat adventure, I actually written the Prince's story so that she's bad as much as What? 
but it's even portion of that. Too bad I need to move the hot board. Hiya! No. Yeah, I don't think you came up with the original material. That's why well, you just rip off real life, you know? Uh, thanks, but not thanks. He so apathetically as I walk away. A nearby small group of students catch my eyes together in front of a man in a long sweeping locker. Although his voice is placid, there are times he lies in an undercurrent of power everywhere in the places. Life is a crucial thing. There is a unspeakable number of ways for the human body to die, and even more for it to be broken. Death was not accepted as an inevitable part of the Natural stage in the circle of this world. It doesn't have to be that way. A man in the left road straightens as the students begin to hurry to his voice. Through our research, we can create medicine that fights seeds and treat disorders. Something I'd like to exponentially and maybe indefinitely. As so he's a medical researcher, he takes the seeds on each individual in the current and a hostile manner, but certainly in an unnerving one. A day may come when we can defy death. Is there any stand up? The natural arc of his brow and the demanding line on stress just slightly as examines you. I feel for some beneath his piercing gaze. This seems slightly uncomfortable, just strange. And eventually he turns away, just seeing his phone thus that are set on the bridge of his nose. We seek a lasting influence of the world turn this way forward for for new miracles in a research division. So together we can accomplish the impossible and to prevent the inevitable. But as soon as breaks into a positive faces, I gape and wonder I can only scoff. No one can defy death. Anyone who thinks otherwise is just delusional. And let's turn away from the way forward with the PA Homes to Life. Attention students, Barry and Nori will be speaking at the center stage in five minutes. And the students around me just audibly breaking into frantic whispers. Barry and Nori, here in person? Our school's important, you know. Why wouldn't he come here? Come on, let's get a good spot. I fully miss it. The throng of students gathering around the courtyard center stage. Soon enough, Mayor Masaru Inori, the most popular Mayor Naru, is in the clutch. He gives the students a criminal wave from behind a purple line of security guards. You know, back in my day, when dinosaurs were on the earth, that distracts laughter from the crowd. We always disagree, we pop ourselves over to the UFC, you should see it before we renovated and stuff. I saw some wings. There were only devices at the time, so you will what become as a society, yeah? Kerchik is gonna unwind them up. I catch you. To sing ten of Isabel's people. Elizabeth's. Not uh, Isabel's. As usual, she's eagerly joining the notes on her phone, meaning into the mayor's every word. Brennan Girl, who is always our honest Isabella, is also next to her, surprising she's in equally engrossed in the speech. Ah, yes, I had a career day and thought I was a waste of time. Thought that they were shitting me at a time when all I wanted to do was to learn myself who I, went to, who I was, who I wanted to be. But later I realized that I was thinking of a career day in a completely wrong way. It wasn't about seeing my future, it was about exciting possibilities. As a moment of thoughtful silence before he continues. The truth is, you'll probably change careers multiple times in your life, but the average number of jobs you can Changes is estimated to be 15 times. If you've been in school all your life, but have experience in construction, woodworking, design, architecture, statistics, engineering, maybe even arches, babysitting, or bicycle riding. This is the most into her hand as soon as laugh, laugh like a perfectly timed trap. But as best of features, you know what you don't want to do. You don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be day full of insecurities. Fe don't. Don't. Fears. You don't want to be a light of back stunts or treated like a fake. I won't lie to you. It's a nasty world out there. But I think we all agree that regardless of who we are or where we are from, we have an important part to play in the safety of this country. So go on. It's lore. You guys are right. Hey. You guys are in a better spot than I was. I thought I would see nothing more than a, a thorough apologist. Not that I even know what it meant at the time, it just sounded cool. 
the spreading sentence elects when they left with the subsequent states offering a final way. Since are often to cheers in response. And quickly shove away from the crowd before the noise overwhelms me. I don't want to like this guy Hank, I don't even want to like any politicians, but he seems to be less evil than the others I've seen. But the more he's made a good speech, he comes across the intelligence, but genuine, two major op opposites of politicians. Maybe I'll vote for his free election. Maybe. Hello, stranger. Oh. Hey, Mickey. I roughly stop in my tracks, finally taking what she's with. Well, you're dressed up. But you're putting in lately, she stamps in a silicon kimono that ripples around a figure like water. Here and sit with a minimalist like ribbon and a crystal pin. She could on the red carpet or on her throne, even with that outfit. Pretty, my mind slides on hopefully. I quickly grin that part of my mind to dust. That's all you have to say? Well, what are you expecting, poetry? Oh, dearest, you're late. liking yourself so late with eyes like the moon and mouth. First, I don't think the sun ear, ear did see. She finally sets me on the bed. Very funny Shakespeare the cycle. Although I am impressed your vindication is was pretty decent. I feel like she's insulting me, but generally but she generally seems shocked. So what brings you here? Do you want to become a model? Of uh, what? I don't know. Need to be a mirror, some male models are hardly anything new. However, they just tend to be physically fit. Do you happen to have a six pack? Uh pretend I heard another. It makes you think everybody even wanted to ever want to be a model. Sitting down a company booth, we are a modeling company. Surprise and surprise and cast a quick glance behind her. Sure enough, a large banner reads Lotus Modeling above a tent with striking photo spreads. Let's take a model, I assume. You assume correctly. So where's for you? I haven't seen her all day. But awkward moments when her really that's that's me. She tends to the school, right? But of course she does. So have you seen her today? Uh, well, yeah. You didn't tell me about You didn't tell her about me? Hello, such trauma. I missed you. Not. How can I read this as a brand yet avoided completely? Uh, you should probably be going. Uh, you should probably be getting ready to your job. I have my eye on you, Gamma. Do you really think I can't tell when you're going? I believe in my ability to run away. He's the same, you see? I made a mental note to arrest you late about your leader. Until then, Yama. She floods back to her booth, greeting any period of space with an imperialist smile. A model, her job is model. Some I find that a little underwhelming. I almost expected her to be involved in something interesting, like the Secret Service, or the film industry, or even the Olympics. A modeling where you pose and change as well for hours and hours? Avengers Stubborn Miki? doesn't seem to fit her. Whatever, I guess it's none of my business anyways. Seem to see Mr. Ryota.